Welcome Wizards, Witches, and Nomadge. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to visit my channel, Wands and Reviews. As you may be aware, I like to remain true to character wands that are shown within the films and from official resources. On April 2nd of this year, the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, the Wands of the Wizarding World, updated and expanded edition book was released. I like the first edition of the book, and I've used it to help me create a couple of wand replicas for my collection that I've shared with you. And now that we have this updated version of the book, it shows quite a few wands, but nothing major was revealed except for one wand that is shown to belong to Cornelius Fudge. Now, if you remember in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Fudge was seen with a wand, but it's not the same wand as shown in this book on pages 158 and 159. The wand shown in this book is a repainted version of Arthur Weasley's wand. And this is what the text in the book says. The Minister for Magic at the British Ministry during Harry Potter's time at Hogwarts is Cornelius Fudge, who struggles with Harry's claim, often failing to believe it, that the Dark Lord Voldemort has returned to take over the wizarding community. Actor Robert Hardy felt that Fudge was more about personal advancement and political recognition than taking care of his community's needs, and that this inevitably led to his downfall and disgrace for making the wrong choices. Fudge uses a notable wand at the 422nd Quidditch World Cup in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire to cast the Sonora spell to broadcast his voice through the stadium as he opens the game. The wand features two white matching sphere shapes intricately carved with a style of latticework. However, by the time of filming Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, he's associated with a different wand. The latter wand features a twisted handle, much like the Barley style wand of Arthur Weasley. However, where Weasley's wand maintains a rich, consistent color throughout the wood, Fudge's wand has two distinct tones, with the handle a lighter hue than the shaft. This book and the previous edition are considered as official resources, meaning that I now have to create Cornelius Fudge's official wand for my collection so that I can share it with you. To make Cornelius Fudge's wand, I repurposed an Arthur Weasley wand from the Noble Collection. I started off by lightly sanding the wand's shaft and by cleaning the wand with rubbing alcohol to remove any impurities. Looking at the image from the book, I gathered my paint and masked off the handle so I could paint the base color of the shaft for this wand. I then misted on some black as seen in the book. When dry, I masked off the shaft of the wand so I could recolor the handle. When the wand was completely dry, I sprayed the entire wand with a clear semi-gloss coat spray. Here is my repurposed wand replica for Cornelius Fudge. Unfortunately, there is no specific wand information for what wood or core this wand has. But we do know that the wand measures in at 15.75 inches in total length. The wand has a smooth, slender, black and brown shaft.
Fudge was rarely seen using his wand, but he was capable of using some rather advanced spells, which is good as the brown handle is spiral shaped and allows for a nice hold when casting spells. This is my repurposed wand for Cornelius Fudge, as seen in the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, the Wands of the Wizarding World, updated and expanded edition book. As the Wands of the Wizarding World book mentions, when it came to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Cornelius Fudge was associated with this wand. Now, like many of the wands within the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast films, besides the main cast of character wands, many of the wands were reused by several characters and in a variety of different colors. Now, it does make me wonder, did the late Robert Hardy, who portrayed Cornelius Fudge in the Harry Potter films, pick out this wand that was never shown in the films, or was it something that someone somewhere said that this is his wand? I do not know, but I can see his character using this style of wand. So what are your thoughts? Do you think that this wand is fit for the character of Cornelius Fudge or not? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this unofficial wand repurposing replica wand video today. If you did, please show my channel some love by clicking on that thumbs up button. And while you're here, why not subscribe to my channel if you're not already doing so? I'm trying to gain more subscribers and you can help me out by sharing this video with your family, your friends, and on all of your social media accounts. Thank you and please have a pleasant day.